Hello lads, my name is Korea Demo Nani Mushindeiru Toyota and I am a professional cook and oh man, do I have some big news for you guys well not as big as my pee pee, but some big news nevertheless. That's right, we're talking about food today guys. I think we can all agree that it's a common trend on YouTube for YouTubers to think that they're something that they're not. From YouTubers who think that they're rappers, to people straight up thinking that they're comedians. But unfortunately, it doesn't end here. Now you've got actual brain dead people, not only on YouTube but on the internet in general, who think that they can cook. If you have any basic knowledge in culinary arts, you know when someone comes up with a new recipe that no one's heard about. Like, you know, your grandma adding a little pinch of hazelnut on the apple pie to give it some extra flavor. Well, I'm not talking about those kind of recipes. I'm talking about you adding a little pinch of chocolate on your noodles to give it some extra aids. I mean flavor. I thought it would be a fun idea for me to be a food critique for this video and watch some amazing, some, some fantastic cooking videos with you guys. But Fader, why do you get to be the food critique? For all we know, maybe you don't know anything about food. Okay, that's a fair assumption, but let me just remind you really quick that if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you would know that I used to be a professional cooking channel. Michael, dinner's ready. Man, are you trying to kill my dad? What for the camera? Mmm. What the fuck is this shit? What even you can do? So as you can see, he loved it. Smash like if you'd let me cook for you. But as I was saying, let's review some cooking videos. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be looking at is apparently this professional YouTuber cook. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I hear YouTuber next to a title like YouTuber rapper, YouTuber cook, I don't know. It's like a downgrade for me. But who knows? Someone sent me this channel on Twitter and he told me that this guy has some, mm, some amazing culinary skills, so... I'm expecting a feast. But before we watch the video, let's just take a little peek, a quick little peek at this guy's channel to see what kind of individual we're dealing with. So looking really quick at his channel, we can see that this guy's been uploading for a very long time. Peel an egg quick and easy. Today's cooking tip is... Holy crap! Is it just me or is the camera a little bit too close to his face? Like, I don't know about you guys, but it makes you wonder whether or not the video is about peeling an egg or peeling this egghead looking ass. How to peel an egg. Yo, 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 do you see that? Do you see that pause right there? Like, replay it? What the hell is that? Mate, did this guy just have an aneurysm for like two seconds? What is that pause? Put your timer on for 10 minutes, and as soon as 10 minutes is up, turn it off. Then you're gonna bring the pot over to the sink, and you're gonna gently- Yo, man, can you put the egg down a little bit? Like, I kind of feel bad for the egg. Does this guy know he can put the egg down while talking? Like, the way he's lifting the egg like this and talking like, and this is how you cook an egg, and you put it under boiling water. Like, I don't know. It's kind of creepy. And that is how you peel an egg. You know, you know what this video reminds me of? Like those generic cooking channels that are like, this is how you slice a watermelon. And that is how you slice watermelon. <laughs> There's another one. How to roll sushi. Now, as I said earlier, I'm a professional chef and it just so happens that I know a lot about sushi so we can actually see if she's rolling it properly. And that is your sushi roll. And that is your sushi roll. All right, uh, something tells me that there was supposed to be a cut somewhere or an edit in the video, but they forgot. Yeah, this, this is definitely how you roll a sushi, guys. But anyway, let's actually watch the cooking video from Mr. Eggman and let's see what kind of goodies are waiting for us. We're doing a product review. It's called Bag and Season. Bag and Season Original Chicken. Okay, I understand that he's doing a product review, but package seasoning? Really? Us professional chefs, like me, we know that the best way to season your food is with homemade seasoning. Hold on, let me see if I can, let me see if I have some pictures of food, cause you know, as a millennial, I always take pictures of my food. I mean, just look at these amazing noodles I ate a few days ago. Now that's how you properly season your noodles. Oh crap. I actually remember sending this food to one of my friends who was coming to my house and I sent him a pic of my food and told him I had some extra left over if he wanted and he said them extra good. I don't exactly know what he meant by extra good, like, was my food extra good or was he extra good like he wasn't gonna eat it? So we're gonna see if it's any good and I'm gonna put it side by side. So I'm gonna do half a chicken in this and then another half a chicken in my regular gourmet seasoning that I have. 
Uh, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. The best seasoning you'll ever taste. I mean, this guy just... He's really hyping up his cooking. Alright, so the product seasoning chicken is the one he's putting in the bag. And on a plastic tray, you've got the guy seasoning on a chicken. So let's see which chicken tastes better. The package seasoning, cheap seasoning, or the professional chef seasoning? Anytime there's meat involved, you want to. Oh man, what, what the hell is this? Yo, that's the chef seasoned chicken. I mean, look at the chicken. The chicken died for this. Yo, it doesn't even look like chicken anymore. Yo. It looks like a rock! And this guy was saying things like, his seasoning is the best thing you'll ever taste. My man! More like this chicken is the saddest thing you'll ever see. All I'm saying is that, if I was that rock, I mean this chicken, I would want a veterinarian to resuscitate me, so that I can look at my badly seasoned disgusting ass corpse, and then I can neck myself and die again. The seasoning, though, is definitely smelling good. Take a look. Alright, so I don't know if it's just me, but the package seasoned chicken on the left looks way better than the one on the right. Like, come on, I'm sure he could have put more effort on his own seasoning. Cut right into this. Look how juicy it is. Look at the pool of... Look at that. Eh. Uh, what the hell is that? Look how juicy it is. Look at the pool of... Look at that. Oh, hell nah! What do you mean juicy? The only thing that's juicy is this dead chicken having its period. Didn't cook well right there, so I'm not gonna eat that. See how that is? Oh really? Like come on, he's gotta be taking the piss! I just don't understand. Surely as a professional chef, he must know that this is just unacceptable, like... How hard is it to go overheat the chicken for a few more minutes? This guy's treating this chicken as if it's steak! You should never, ever take any chances with chicken, guys! Shouldn't be red like that. This is okay to try though, so I'm gonna try this piece here. Yeah, the part that looks really slimy, and that's dripping with wet red liquid, completely fine to eat, guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where's Gordon Ramsay when you need him? I'm sorry, but Gordon needs to ask this potato how to boil an egg. Because I'm telling you right now, from the way this guy cooked the undercooked chicken, this guy would find a way to, while boiling the egg, to revive the fetus inside the egg. Yeah, uh, so far I'm not really impressed by this guy's culinary skills, but I'm not gonna judge his cooking skills with one video, I mean. This... This might have been just a fluke. So let's see what other videos this guy's got for us. Knife. Skills. She is a Cordon Bleu trained chef. And now, can you give, so I have some young viewers that may not know what Cordon Bleu is. Can you tell them how amazing Cordon Bleu is? Well, it's Cordon Bleu in Paris. So it's, it is the most amazing. It's like... Oh, I don't know. She, she, she's just flexing on us now. I mean, Dom, she's got her professional chef's uniform. I mean, hey, maybe she can teach him a few things about cooking. That surface means that this onion is not going to roll around. Right. So now I'm going to be able to saw through, so I'm going to use my knife as a saw, saw through the onion. Mm -hmm. And What is she doing with the knife? What is that? What the? What? Okay, now it looks like I'm stroking an invisible peepee, -pee, but what is that? I don't know. I don't think that's how you're supposed to cut an onion. Aren't you supposed to, you know, just, you know, like just, just cut it? Not saw through it. Take Gordon Ramsay, for example. There's no sawing for an onion. The thing is, that comes with practice. So once you've... Like, what is she doing? Someone give this girl a chainsaw. Have not opened this. Ah, styrofoam. Yo, this guy's coked out. Why is he sniffing that box like that? Off the plates the first time. Hey, is that warm? Yeah, it is. Look at... That just popped right out. What is it doing? What? What is he? What does he mean it's warm? The f thing's not even turned on. What is up with that? Ugh. Hold on. I thought these were non stick plates. Hello? Great. Is he really yelling at a grill right now? Who is he yelling at? This guy's channel is just cold. Maybe not as a cooking channel, but. As a clown channel, it's up there. Oh, I, I think it's time to give my rating on this chef's cooking, so... It wasn't that bad, to be honest. I mean, the little chicken with the juicing blood. I feel like it really gave it some taste. You know, it's a recipe I've never heard about, but... If I had to rate this guy, I would give him a knock. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video or learned a few things about cooking, or lost some brain cells in general, remember to smash like, and if you want some free memes, I mean, just look at this meme. Now, if that's not the best meme you've ever seen in your life, then remember to follow at Darth 27 for more free memes. But Fader, you probably stole that meme. Shut up, I'll steal your dog. I don't wanna. <laughs>